This is Sandy Candy with breaking news from Church of the Palms in Okadie, South Carolina. We've just received word of a sighting of St. Nicholas. We have reporter Julia Jingle on the scene. If there's one good thing about this pandemic, it's the end to all that awful hugging people want to do. It isn't good for anything. Just musses the makeup and wrinkles the wardrobe. How people see you is so important. Image is everything. Oh, Sandy, are you ready for my St. Nicholas interview? Julia Jingle, St. Nicholas has been missing for an entire year. Is it true you found him? That's right, Sandy Candy. I have tracked down the famous St. Nicholas and I have him on a remote feed so we can find out what is going on. Mm, okay, take it away, Julia. St. Nicholas? St. Nicholas, this is Julia Jingle from COTP News TV. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, yes, I can, but um, COTP News TV, is that in Okity, South Carolina? And hey, wh wh where are all those pumpkins finally gone? Uh, whatever. Um, wh what can I do for you, uh, Julia Jingle? Is it? Uh, cute. It's good to speak with you. I haven't met you, but I've heard your reputation. May I ask you some questions, St. Nicholas? Uh, why, but of course, uh, but you don't need to call me Saint Nicholas. Um, um, uh, I was, wasn't born a saint, you know. Uh, saint is just something that people call me. Okay, how about Santa? Uh, <clears throat> um, well, on second thoughts, uh, Saint Nicholas is just fine. Oh, okay, St. Nicholas. In any case, good to see you. But where have you been? We haven't seen you for what, about a year? Anyway, I've been back home at Lycia. You know it as Turkey nowadays, but it was a part of Greece when I was growing up. Turkey? Okay, I wanted to know where you are. You might have heard, we have COVID-19 here. Really? So do we. Has the virus slowed you down at all, St. Nicholas? Not at all. Uh, in fact, wearing a mask has been really helpful. Um, it has? Uh, yes, it, it, it has made it harder to recognize me. St. Nicholas, is that what you think? That you aren't recognizable with a mask on? What do you mean? Well, after all, with that red hat, you are pretty unique looking. Oh, you mean my mitre? Doesn't everyone wear mm, one? Not really. You have quite a fancy outfit on. Does it mean something? Yes, this is my uh, <clears throat> special attire. I was told tonight was special, so I dressed up. This is common for a bishop. You, you know that I'm a bishop, right? That's someone who is in charge of many churches. We have a bishop. His name is Jonathan Holston. Do you know him? No, I don't, but I'd like to meet him, I'm sure. He must have a really tough job in charge of this church. Sandy Candy, you still with us? Yes, Julia, please continue. Well, okay, say Nick, oh, St. Nicholas. Why do they call you Saint? Well, that is interesting. I'm not really sure, but it probably has something to do with stories about me helping people. Like what stories? Well, uh, there was once a man who had three daughters. They wanted to get married, but didn't have any money. So one night I went by their house and threw some gold coins into an open window. I bet that made them happy. Oh, it did. The oldest girl was able to get married and it made me so happy that I was able to help them out in secret. So you know what I did next? No, what did you do? I went back on two separate nights to throw in more money for each of the other daughters. It was so much fun. What a nice thing to do. Well, uh, they do call me Saint, uh, but it really was fun. People said that the coins I threw into the window landed into their shoes and stockings of the girls. 
So whenever I saw someone's stocking hanging out to dry, you know what I did? No, but I bet you're going to tell me. Without being seen, I would put coins in their socks. Boy, were they surprised. I bet they were, especially those with holes in their stockings. Wait a minute, St. Nicholas, are you the reason some people still leave their stockings out this time of year? Maybe, but I know children in the Netherlands leave carrots and hay in their shoes. For your reindeer. Reindeer? No, I mean Abby, you know, my horse. By the way, where, where is my horse? Uh, I don't know about your horse, but I am still confused. Why would you give away your money like that? Okay, I learned that giving is a fun thing to do. Any giving secretly so that no one knows you are the one giving it really fun. Uh, so now I encourage people to do the same thing. Uh, to give to others, to do things for others, but do it without trying to get attention. To do it in secret. How do you encourage others? There are so many ways, but let me tell you of just one. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Think of something and just do it. Just do it? Do you have a Nike endorsement contract? Talk about rich and famous, just like Tiger Woods or Michael Jordan. I never knew you were athletic. Athletes are the best. No wonder you have money to throw around. But are you sure that giving it away is what you really want to do? Others have tried it and they found it a great way to celebrate the greatest gift of this season, Jesus. Say, St. Nicholas, before you go, might I ask you if you have any other words of wisdom to share with us tonight? I would just want to encourage you all to continue to follow Jesus. It won't be easy uh, all the time, but I know from my own life it is well worth the effort. And I would want to encourage you to be kind to one another, love each other like we know Jesus loves us. Very good words, St. Nicholas. Thank you. Back to you, Sandy Candy in the studio. Thank you, Julia. What a great story. This has been Breaking News from Church of the Palms in Okadee, South Carolina. I'm Sandy Candy.